everyone and welcome back to another vlog. It's currently 6.48 p.m. and I just thought that I would start the vlog right now. So my hair is like this in this weird bun because I just showered like an hour ago and it's air drying and I just put it up to eat. Nothing too exciting is going on. Today was just full of lectures and homework. I'm about to eat dinner though and watch some YouTube. Okay, are you guys ready to see my very gourmet dinner? Shin ramen with an egg and fresh green onions. I'm a chef. I'm proud of you. I'm just trying to get on Joyce the dentist and Laura Vaughn's level, okay? Connie went to pharmacy school and then decided that she wanted to be a dentist and so she's getting two degrees, two healthcare degrees. And her vlogs are also really funny and very entertaining. So, make sure to go check her channel out and give her some love. Usually, my boyfriend is the one that washes all the dishes because I don't like to do any chores, but he's busy studying for a big board exam, so I need to do some of the work this week. Hold up, I just realized I'm so used to thinking that I need to hand wash all these dishes, but dishwasher, hello. So I'm just gonna rinse these dishes and then put them in the dishwasher and let that go. Yeah. So over this lockdown, I have had quite the shopping spree and all of my packages came in the mail. Sephora and Paula's Choice. And then we got this box from Target. So this next portion is gonna be me fulfilling my beauty guru uh, dreams. Um, also, I'm not wearing any makeup right now. I mean, you guys have already seen it in the vlog a billion times, but this is my skin. Most of those products that I bought are skincare, and so I just thought that I would share it in the quick haul because I get a lot of questions asking me about what products I use, so just figured I'd share with you what products I use and also what products I bought to try. Okay, so we'll start with Sephora. So I'm VIB Rouge, which if you don't know what that means, it just means I spend a lot of money at Sephora. So I got 20% off during the Sephora VIB sale. Is it called the VIB sale? I don't know. That only comes twice a year. I wait for these sales so I can stock up on my goodies because I don't buy makeup or skincare throughout the rest of the year. Such a big box. I already disinfected this cardboard box. So don't worry, there's no corona on this. First thing I got is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. And I've used this before and love it. So this is what I used to take off my face makeup when I wear it. Ole Henriksen Balance It All Set Oil Control Cleanser, Oil Control Toner, and the Oil Control Hydrator. This line had really good reviews and so I wanted to try it. Since it was 20% off and there were such good reviews on this toner, I bought a full size of the toner, just in case I ended up liking the toner from this, I had a full size one, but we'll see. I'm gonna try this first, and if I like it, then I'll keep this, and if I don't like it, then I'll return the full size. I just bought it in case, because it was on sale. I've never tried the Ordinary products. From the dermatologist videos that I've watched, it seems like they have quality products. Lactic acid plus HA. So this product is supposed to target uneven tone, textural irregularities, and fine lines. Also from The Ordinary, you know I can't read it when it's up like that. Hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5. Now I have to look up what each of these does because I don't remember. I just know that hyaluronic acid is good for hydrating your skin. It's a humectant. Which means that it brings moisture to the surface of your skin. Now we're going on to the Inky List, which I have heard good things about also. It's kind of an underrated skincare brand, but very affordable. Okay, the first thing I got is niacinamide, and this is supposed to help control excess oil, reduce blemishes, and reduce redness. And I really need this to help control my oil because my T-zone gets so oily, and hopefully that this helps hyaluronic acid. So I got two products of hyaluronic acid. And again, this is supposed to help hydrate skin, reduce fine lines, and reduce wrinkles. So we'll see which one I like better. Oh my gosh, I got so many things. The Inculus Caffeine, antioxidant derived from coffee that helps reduce puffiness, dark circles, and prevents skin damage from free radicals. 
So hopefully this helps reduce my eye puffiness and dark circles because your girl got some pretty prominent dark circles from all the stress of school. The last thing I got from Inculist is this retinol and this is supposed to help reduce wrinkles, fine lines, and even skin tone. It's a derivative of vitamin A and it helps with collagen production and skin renewal. It's not that much product, but it's also very inexpensive. So I guess I'll try it and see how I like it. The sun safety kit from Sephora. It was $39, but it's valued at 178. I use sunscreen every day, so it's really important to my skincare routine and keeping me look young. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to buy this kit because it comes with a full size Dr. Dennis Gross sunscreen, the dark spot sun defense sunscreen. And this by itself already costs $42, I believe on Sephora. And so I was like, well for $39, I can get a full size and get samples of all these other sunscreens. This is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. And I have heard people rave about this one. And it comes in such a cute package and same as all the other minis. They're so cute. I'm gonna see how I like these and then there, oh, there's a drunk elephant one. Mmm. Yes. There are lots of good brands on here and I'm excited to try their samples and then see which sunscreen I like best because I feel like it's really hard for me to find a sunscreen that I like. Y'all thought we were done, but that was just skincare. Now on to makeup. Got another beauty blender because I need a new one. The other one that I have is Oh. Stocked up on my favorite CC cream. This is the It Cosmetics CC cream in the shade medium tan. I'm also trying this for the first time. This is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in Cool Soft Black. Here are what my brows look like. You ready? Oh shoot, no nose bridge gang. If I'm doing my brows, I usually use my Anastasia pomade, but that is a little bit too much for me since I already have pretty thick brows. I don't need the pomade. Um, so I wanted to try a brow pencil. I've used the Anastasia one before, but just thought I'd try a different brand. Then I got more liquid liner. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper Black. This is my go-to eyeliner. I have used it for years. And also, I've been wanting to get into lip stuff. Usually, I just wear lip gloss because I don't like the way matte lipsticks look on my lips. It doesn't look good on me. I've been wanting to get into like lip liner and lipstick under my lip gloss. So I bought these and since I couldn't try them on in the store, I don't actually know if this color combo will work. So I got this lip liner, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude. Oh, I'm trying the Bite Beauty Amaretto. It's a little bit off. And honestly, I don't really know how to do lips because I just wear lip gloss. So I don't, I don't know if this will look good. I do like the formula of this Bite Beauty though. It feels very smooth creamy. This for sure I like, so I'm going to keep this regardless. It is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. Wow. Swatching is hard. There we go. Okay, that with the Bite Beauty definitely goes together. I think that the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner might be a little bit too dark, or maybe it'll be a look if I blend it out. This is the last thing I got from Sephora. It's the First Aid Beauty KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% AHA. And KP stands for Keratosis Pilaris. I have these rough bumps over the backs of my arms and on my thighs. Hopefully it'll help smooth out my skin. Okay, that's it for Sephora. So I've never tried Paula's Choice before, but I've heard a lot about it recently and in skincare videos. So I thought I'd give it a try. I forgot to mention this at the beginning, but I have oily combination skin. I get pretty dry on my cheeks and I get pretty oily in my T-zone. The first thing I got is this oil reducing cleanser, pore reducing toner, which hopefully will help reduce my pores because my pores are pretty large, especially on my nose. This exfoliation, this BHA, this is their most popular product on Paula's Choice and so I wanted to try this and then the retinol serum also had really good reviews and so that's why I wanted to try it. I feel like I'm a very impulsive buyer but I also did a lot of research before buying all of this. So I don't know. I don't know. I also bought this which is the 10% niacinamide booster. 
and yes, I already did buy niacinamide, but I want to try this Paula's Choice one also. That's it for Paula's Choice. No, I did not buy all of this for full price because I never buy anything for full price. I wait for things to go on sale. The toners were buy one, get one half off, and then I had an additional 15% off, I believe, for being a first time customer. So at least I'm saving a little bit of money. That's how I justify my purchases. And lastly is the stuff that I got from Target, CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. This is for normal to oily skin. It cleanses and removes oil without disrupting the protective skin barrier. It has three essential ceramides, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid. Those are all good ingredients. Also, this is my first time trying CeraVe, which I'm very surprised about because it's recommended by dermatologists. So where I been? I also got the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I was using Belief's Aqua Balm before, but I think my skin just got too used to that. So I wanted to switch up my daily moisturizer. So now I'm gonna be using the CeraVe and it's nice because it's a lot more affordable. Since I do have KP and I'll be exfoliating a lot more, I wanted to get a really good body cream. So I got this and this is actually from Costco, not Target because I originally bought this one small one from Target, but then at Costco I saw that they have this, which is a double pack for way cheaper. CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. And this I will use on my body, but the Daily Moisturizing Lotion I'll use on my face. I don't know if this is exciting, but I also got this, which is Dr. Teal's Epsom Salts in Eucalyptus, because I have pretty rough, uh, okay, is this TMI? I don't know. I have rough heels, and so I need to soak my feet and moisturize my heels. I ended up spending a lot more than I thought I was going to spend, but also I needed a lot of these things because I needed moisturizer, I needed cleanser, I needed a new toner, I need treatments and sunscreen. I'm basically just trying to justify all my purchases. I got them on sale, so focusing on skincare and I feel like it's worth it to me because I'm investing in my skin so that I don't age as fast. Asians don't raisin. If you've tried any of these products before and have an opinion about them, please let me know in the comments below because I love skincare and learning about skincare and trying different products. So I'd love to know. Earlier today, I did some operative homework and I thought that you guys might find this interesting. It was about root caries. We had to read some articles about the risk factor for caries and then treatment. And then I had to do a write up about that, which I guess I can share with you my findings if you'll find that interesting because it's the only dental related thing in this vlog. The main risk factors for root caries in the older populations are gingival recession and exposed root surfaces, xerostomia for medication use and radiation therapy, poor oral hygiene, frequent snacking of sugary foods and beverages, and smoking. If I'm just reading this to you, is it weird or are you learning? I don't know. I feel like you learn because it's my brief summary. And then I described two different clinical methods of restoring and treating root caries. The ones that I mentioned are a non-invasive approach, which would be application of SDF or silver diamine fluoride. I also said that if you had to do a restorative method, then something that you could consider would be to come from the buccal or lingual surfaces rather than the occlusal surface because you don't want to go through the occlusal surface through all of that healthy tooth structure if you can get access from the buccal or lingual interproximally. I don't know if that's exciting, but I actually learned a lot from reading those research articles. Hopefully my brief summary helped you learn a little bit about root caries. You can go research more about it if you want. I have a major sweet tooth for ice cream if you already did not know. And this has been my favorite recently. It's the Haagen-Dazs Pineapple Coconut. Well, I really like it because I like pineapple and coconut. Like pina coladas are my favorite cocktail. So this is just a pina colada, but in ice cream form. All of the spoons are in the dishwasher right now. So I'm gonna use a fork to eat my ice cream. Mm-hmm. I just eat straight out of this because this is my ice cream pint. My original plan was to film and upload my personal statement tips video this week, but because I've been so busy with homework and lectures and discussions and other things, I haven't had the time to really be able to sit down and script my video. Yes, I script my sit down videos because I take the time to prepare and really come up with thoughtful advice because I don't just wanna go on a rant. So I didn't have time to do that this past week, which is why this week's video is just a casual vlog. But the next thing on my to-do list tonight is to come up with an outline for that video and come up with the main points that I wanna get across to you guys and share about writing your personal statement and tips and tricks. So I'll be working on that next.
So I've got a pretty solid outline now for the video. I'm probably gonna film it later this week and then have that video up next week. I'm going to call it a night because I have to wake up early in the morning tomorrow for class. And make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos and go follow me on Instagram for more content. That is it for this vlog. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.